One detail I want to look at at Persepolis are these column capitals with the bull protoms. And what we're looking at is basically a massive capital for a column. Remember, these columns are 60 feet, so these are massive. And the capitals themselves measure around seven feet tall, meaning the columns are roughly 65 feet in total. The two forms, the bulls that are facing out either way, create a cleft between them. And that cleft would be meant to hold a wooden beam, as we see here. So between the heads, you would see a joist and then a beam between the horns running along the top. It's an incredibly ornate and artistic way of dealing with a very practical need, which is that of columns. We also see a certain Greek influence here, specifically Corinthian and Ionic columns, mostly Ionic columns here. Note the date. So we're around 510 uh, and 510 BCE. And so there is going to be some Greek influence coming in. Those Ionic columns, those Greek Ionic columns are coming from Turkey, not that far separated from this capital city of Persepolis. Why the bull? Because the bull is going to be a symbol of power once again. And it's something that we see a lot, again, amongst the Persians, but we've seen it before a number of times, and we'll see it again, again amongst the Minoans. We saw it at Katahoyuk in Turkey. This element of power is going to be really important. Bulls are known for being particularly strong. And so it gives that sense of a very strong ruler. Sometimes the imagery is just that straightforward. 